Hey everybody, welcome back to Pro Carry Trucker. Uh, something I think I'm going to start doing. I did, a, I did it a while back. This is my last day and my four days on. So, here's my end of week ride along. Uh, make it a little bit of a light show going on. And I got some lightning was ahead of me, but it's pretty much over me now, over the top of me now. Uh, if you off to the left of the screen there, you may see it flash a little bit. Uh, I am currently on US 231 north of Owensboro, Kentucky. I'll take this up to I-64 there by Dale, Indiana. Uh, Santa Claus, Indiana, where Holiday World is. Take 64 over there to Illinois, about an hour drive over to, in, about a, not quite an hour drive in to the state line and then three quarters of a mile maybe maybe a mile across the state line I'll take the first exit run 130 up uh, 130 up to 33 33 over to Timothy Road or to uh, Teotopolis Road make a right hand turn and run that up into Teotopolis to go to the terminal parking been a pretty nice day today it was a little bit cooler today uh, this time yesterday I was showing about 87 degrees yet today I got 71 <laughs> but for oh shoot I think I've seen 90 degrees or pretty pretty much close to 90 degrees 89 to 90 91 93 uh, the past five days had a little bit of a light show up there kind of towards the top left of the screen I don't know if it showed up on the video or not uh, I'm going to be doing a channel update video tomorrow uh, big changes to my channel going to be some big changes to my channel here for the uh, for short term uh, granted my channel is going to stay basically the same but there are going to be some major changes uh, as far as uh, videos and I will explain that all in my update video either either tomorrow or Monday so Getting a little windy. Got some storms moving in. Uh, I seen a Facebook live feed from Top Guns Training Academy or Top Guns Firearm Store in Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh, they had some real strong storms moving in. They had some wind. They had some wind. Had their flag not only it wasn't just standing straight out. It looked like it was about ready to rip it off the pole. See the uh, kind of the exhaust the smokestacks up there. <laughs> that is a coal-powered power plant that sits just across the state line in Indiana. So I'll be crossing into Indiana here pretty quick. loving this quarter till eight local time quarter till eight central and granted it's it's kind of dark right now almost like dust but that's because of the heavy 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 cloud cover but I mean this time yesterday the sun was still shining it's it's actually still daylight out coal-powered power plant 
Like I said, it sits on the Indiana side of the bridge. Coming up on the bridge now. It's, everything's flooded around here still. This is not the river, that's not a lake. That, that's a field that's flooded. But yeah, highly encourage my subscribers to be on the lookout for my update video. Like I said, I'll do that tomorrow. If I do it tomorrow, it'll probably be tomorrow night. Um, otherwise, it'll be Monday. I'll do it. Sometime Monday. <laughs> Here's the bridge that goes over the river that separates Kentucky from Indiana on the US 231. It goes over the Ohio River. Let's see if I can tilt this up enough get some more of this light show going on. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel the wind on this bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's windier up here because not a whole lot of waves on the river there. I have seen white caps on that river. And I'm in Indiana. Welcome to Indiana, Crossroads of America. Lincoln's boyhood home. Get a better shot of this coal-powered power plant, maybe. Oh yeah, that, I love freaking storms. I love storms. And even a lightning storm in a vehicle don't bother me one bit. <laughs> Got one cooling tower operating. I've seen both of them going and I've been I've seen both of them shut down. Seems like the majority of the time both are shut down more than either one of them are going. about 20 mile to go up to I-64. Got 168 mile to go to the terminal. Well, 168 mile to go to the terminal if I go by what the GPS says. Generally, I, I will program the GPS in, but I don't follow it. It's more there for if dispatch calls me and says, hey, how far away are you? And instead of trying to get a landmark, determine where I'm at, how far I gotta go, all I gotta do is look down and tell them, I'm 168 miles away. Or if I break down, I'm on the interstate, GPS I have is a truck routing GPS and it keeps track of the mile markers. <laughs> if I if I've not really seen the mile marker I'm at when I break down, I can pop up on the GPS and it'll show me the last mile marker I passed. So that'll tell me where I'm, basically the area I'm in if I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Going over Honey Creek. Oh, I love that lightning. Granted, I would like it to be out in an open area. No occupied buildings get destroyed. Nobody gets hurt. No vehicles get tossed around. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't hurt my feelings a bit to see a tornado. Yeah, 
Yeah, it seems like the farther north I go, the windier it's getting. There's some main power lines, high, high voltage power lines, I would assume, coming off the power plant. And here comes liquid sunshine. I had went down to Summer Shade, Kentucky and unloaded. Uh, had to fuel up in Smith Grove, Kentucky. So I won't have to put any more, I won't have to stop the fuel again. I get head I get head and east on 64 I'm gonna have a pretty good headwind but just a short little end of week right along my days off for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's my next four days on. So my next end of week right along will be next Sunday. Hope y'all catch it. It's, I think I'm gonna make this a regular thing from now on. And uh, we'll catch y'all in the next video. Appreciate those thumbs up. Yeah, catch y'all later.